Hello, hello. So, what we are doing with this last homework about unit number two, you're going to have mixed volume questions. They are all mixed. You can get uh, cube ones, prism, pyramid, all, all shapes. And then, you need to calculate the volume and the surface area for every single question that except the ones it says only calculate the volume and also except the ones they they are the word questions you'll see those so let's just talk about it what you need to do here with this homework calculate the volume and surface area for each question and some questions you'll see area is given only so you will be able to calculate the volume and there will be L-shaped figures we'll talk about in a minute and word questions so let's just go so here is a area given question over here it's a polygon and the area is already given to us we don't have to calculate the area which is 15 centimeters square so what is the volume if you remember the volume formula is B H divided by 3 so now you know the B which is 15 times H which is not given yet so let's say it is 10 divided by 3 that will give you 50 centimeter cube that's it that will be done so array is given it's pretty simple and L shaped figures how do you do those you need to cut the shape here otherwise you won't be able to calculate the uh, surface area and volume here so I'm gonna cut from here from there and when I do that, I'm going to have two different rectangle prisms. So, uh, to calculate the volume of the whole shape here, I need to calculate the volume of the first one, and then volume of the second one, and then I'm going to add them. That will be the answer. The surface area is the same thing. So, you need to calculate the surface area for the first rectangular prism and the surface area for the second rectangular prism and put them together that will be the surface area of the of the shape and all right so the last one the word questions so how do we do the word questions i'm looking for three things number one you need to draw draw about the situation whatever the situation is just picture something about it number two do the math number three the last is the sentence so whatever the word question is asking you using the question words give me a sentence that will be good enough let's try